Hi, Chris here. On this video, I'll go over the spray nozzle used for pressure washers, including the colored standard ones and the rotary nozzle. I'll discuss their spray patterns, power, and general applications. The first thing we need to talk about is matching your spray nozzle to the power of your pressure washer. What I mean by that is here we have three red nozzles. The difference is the size of the holes. If the hole is too large for your pressure washer, you get lots of water flow but not much pressure. Whereas if the hole is too small for your pressure washer, you'll get a lot of pressure but not much water flow. Both will negatively impact the performance of your overall machine and its cleaning performance. To remember the size of your spray nozzle, look for the five numbers stamped onto the body. The first two is a spray angle, in this case it's zero, zero, which means zero degrees. The last three numbers is the size, this one is zero, three, zero. As a general rule, match what your pressure washer came with. If you lost all your nozzles, refer to this chart to match it up. Next, we'll talk about the colored spray nozzles, starting with the red one. This is a zero degree spray pattern, which is a single bead of high concentrated water. On a hard surface, it'll leave a thin line. Because it's concentrated in one spot, it can damage soft materials like wood relatively easy. This is best used to break apart heavy dirt or blowing out the weeds the cracks of your driveway. Next is the yellow spray nozzle. This has a 15 degree spray pattern, which leaves a wider path on a concrete. It is the second most powerful nozzle and can still damage wood fairly easy. It is best used for hard surfaces like sidewalks and your driveway. The green nozzle has a 25 degree spray pattern. It leaves a wider path on a surface but doesn't clean quite as deep as the yellow one does. It's still very powerful and can still damage soft materials, so care needs to be taken. This nozzle is very good for anything like bricks or paver stone. The fourth nozzle is the white one. This is a 40 degree spray angle. It's a much wider path on concrete, but doesn't do very much deep cleaning because the pressure is dispersed on it. It can still damage surfaces if you press really hard, so care does need to be taken. However, it is ideal for softer surfaces such as wood decks, house siding, or vehicles. Next is we have the black spray nozzle. This has a 65 degree spray angle. The large hole means it has no pressure coming out of it, plenty of water flow. It's great for rinsing off surfaces and is the only nozzle that works with the soap system of your pressure washer. Finally, we have the rotary nozzle. This one is very unique because it has a zero degrees nozzle inside of it that spins around, creating a spray funnel. It is very powerful and leaves a wide trail on any surface doing very deep cleaning. Because it is zero degrees, it can easily damage soft material. However, this is ideal for cleaning any large flat surfaces like your driveways or sidewalks. This has been Chris. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below and I'll see you next time.